Hello everybody, I'm Leslie Garrett. Today we're in Manhattan talking to Dr. Gregory Bays Brown, who's Chief and Creative Services Director of Revive Cosmetics. Today, Dr. Brown is going to be talking about his groundbreaking EGF marriage of science and technology. We'll see how science, beauty, and technology come together with the epidermal growth factor. Stay with us. Dr. Brown, so great to be with yeah, you today. Dr. Gregory Bays Brown is a successful plastic surgeon who established a research lab and developed Revive Skin Care. I'd love to find out how you formulated Revive. Well, it's been a lifelong process and passion. Um, you know, it started almost 30 years ago now when I was a resident. Uh, time flies. and. I was doing research on wound healing and was able to find that growth factors, which were newly made at that time from recombinant DNA technology, uh, could indeed speed wound healing. And from that research, we extrapolated it to aging skin. Now, was it originally formulated as a burn cream? For burn it was. Cream? Our original research about the first decade, actually, was looking at ways to speed burn wound healing and chronic wound healing. So certainly it had great applications for the beauty industry. It did. In fact, the whole concept for Revive uh, was to marry the beauty industry to the biotechnology industry. Dr. Brown discovered that by using a bioengineered molecule, EGF, epidermal growth factor, dramatically improved healing in burn victims. He also discovered that EGF helps regenerate aging skin. Dr. Brown, tell us about the Nobel Prize winning epidermal growth factor, or EGF. EGF is a human protein that we all have in our bodies that um, is very important in regeneration and cell turnover and youth and all of those things, and it decreases with age. Uh, now, about 40-some years ago, it was first discovered in 1960 by Dr. Stanley Cohen and Dr. Rita Montalcini. And they eventually won the Nobel Prize for that discovery. However, it wasn't until about 26 years later in 1986 that they won the prize. And the reason it took so long, in the early days, the experiments were very crude when they did them, but it wasn't until bioengineering, biotechnology, recombinant DNA technology, all of those things that came along in the late 70s made it possible to create large quantities of epidermal growth factors. So, we, along with others, started showing how important these molecules were by speeding wound healing, among other things. And so they ultimately won the prize in 1986. And we incorporate EGF uh, epidermal growth factor into a lot of our products. Tell me about the 2009 Nobel Prize that was awarded. That's true. Every year there's a prize awarded for medicine and physiology. This year it was awarded for the discovery of the molecule telomerase which we also started including in our products about four years ago in Po Magnifique. There you see it there. And telomerase is a very interesting molecule. Some people call it the fountain of youth molecule. Um, what it does, and what we're interested in, it actually recruits resting stem cells. We're all born with stem cells in most of our organs, and God or evolution or however you believe put those there to just wait in case we're injured. So that if we are injured, they can convert to wherever they are. For example, in the skin, the resting, our own stem cells that just sit there and wait, basically to be injured, um, then if that does occur, that's a signal for them to convert to new skin. Well, telomerase, the Nobel Prize winning molecule this year, actually does that without the trauma. And that's why we included it in Po Magnifique. It will actually essentially recruit youthful new skin cells. We call it youth recruit. So now these are our own stem cells that we Absolutely. We're talking about? No no controversy. So how are our own stem cells impacting the industry and enabling this new product Po? to regenerate our own skin? Well, there are a lot of companies now that are looking at stem cells um, as they relate to beauty. One of the things and the principle that we use for this product is that we all know that plastic surgeons use laser, dermabrasion, chemical peels to improve the aesthetics of the skin and the face. 
But one of the reasons that works and improves aesthetics is the body doesn't realize that that's controlled trauma, intentional trauma. The body perceives that as trauma. So that's a signal to those stem cells that I mentioned to convert to new skin to give that improved aesthetic that you get after those procedures. So we are fooling the body a little bit. We send that signal for those stem cells to convert to new skin biochemically with telomerase and not with injury. So as you know, those procedures are very safe and most of the time they're very successful, but there's always a risk with any kind of surgery. Do you say that this is an alternative to laser treatment or an adjunct treatment? It's an alternative. So you might not need laser at all to resurface your skin if you utilize? You might not. How long does this skin turnover take? It's interesting, and that was one of the bases for uh, Revive in general. One of the things that happens uh, as we age, cell turnover and cell renewal slows. For example, um, the epidermis in a 20-year-old completely replaces itself about every three weeks, meaning from the point the bottom cells divide and they slowly go to the surface and they're sloughed off as dead stratum corneum. We all do that all day long. That process takes about three weeks in a 20-year-old. Somebody my age, 56, I'm old, um, it may take 12 or 14 weeks. So the older you get, the longer it takes. So by applying epidermal growth factor, you, all those cells have receptors on the surface for EGF. It will stimulate aging cells to behave physiologically as if they're younger, so you get more turnover. And you may ask, well, what difference does that make? Well, that's why you get that wonderful dewy glow in youth, that fluid-filled skin that you see in an 18 or 20-year-old. So in somebody that's never used Revive, and um, it probably they can see a difference within seven to 10 days. What are some of the beauty breakthroughs on the horizon? Well, I think stem cells are a big one. Whether it can stay just in the cosmetic world and not have to become a drug, that, that's always a question with any kind of breakthrough. You know, the whole point of Revive, even in the beginning, was to marry this new industry, the biotechnology industry, which now is 30 years old, still relatively new to the beauty industry. So I think there are always things we're looking at for the horizon. Which are some of your breakthrough core products? Well, I think probably the biggest one was our first one, which is our moisturizing renewal cream, which is the one that we patented the concept for. Uh, it's our night cream. It's still our number one seller. Uh, and probably if people only buy one product and never bought another review product, that would be the one uh, they should buy. It should last about four months. Yeah, so our products, you know, we know they're expensive, and they're expensive because bioengineered molecules are very expensive to make. Uh, they're pharmaceutical grade. So, um, it, but it does, it should last four months. Basically, I think all humans want other humans to react positively to them. And that doesn't necessarily mean classic beauty, it can mean health, it can mean an inner contentment and inner spirituality, any of those, all of those things go into beauty. You know, we obviously all think of wrinkles and sags and all that, but beauty is more than that. And one of the things I think as far as achieving beauty is um, moderation. You know, everything in moderation. I think, um, you know, you have to live life and you have to enjoy life, so you can't constantly be on guard. People will do extreme measures for a short period of time, meaning 40 or 50 supplements a day, salmon four times a week, or whatever, any of those sort of faddish things. People will do that for a while. But the key to getting real, achieving long-term beauty and maintaining is something steady over time.